in question two of our total pressure and partial pressure series. We ended off with question number two. And the question reads, a sample of hydrogen gas is mixed with water vapor. The mixture has a total pressure of 755 torr and the water vapor has a partial pressure of 24 torr. What amount in moles of hydrogen gas is contained in 1.55 liters of this mixture at 298 Kelvin? Just like in question number one, we have to write down everything we know. Let's go ahead and do that. We've been told that the total pressure, which I'll represent as P sub T, is equal to 755 torr, which is equivalent to mmHg, millimeters of mercury. We've been told that the partial pressure of water vapor, which I'll represent as pH2O, is equal to 24 torr. Furthermore, they are looking for the amount in moles, which I'll call N, of hydrogen gas contained in 1.55 liters, that's our volume, and this is our temperature, 298 Kelvin. To put this all together, we'll be using the ideal gas law formula, which looks like this. PV is equal to NRT, and this is what we're looking for. To get the pressure of hydrogen gas, we have to use Dalton's law, which states that the sum of all the partial pressures is equal to the total pressure. Let's go ahead and find it. We have the total pressure is 755, so PT is equal to the partial pressure of H2O plus the partial pressure of hydrogen. I'll substitute the values that I have. 755 is equal to the partial pressure of water, which is 24 plus the partial pressure of hydrogen gas, and that's what I'm looking for. I need this so that I can substitute it into this formula and then find out what n is equal to. This is a simple algebraic equation. We bring this number over to the other side. We have 755 minus 24. By bringing it to the other side, it becomes negative. Using my calculator, 755 minus 24 is equal to 731. So P sub H is 731 torr. In order to use this formula, PV is equal to NRT, I need to convert 731 torr into atmospheres. And the reason why is because part of this formula, this R, is a gas constant. And the gas constant from question number one has the units L times atmosphere over moles times Kelvin. So notice that it's in atmosphere and in Kelvin and liters and moles, so they all have to match. Our partial pressure right now is in mmHg, so that needs to be changed. I'll multiply this by 760 torr at the bottom and one atmosphere at the top. This is actually the conversion ratio that goes from atmosphere to torr, or mmHg. By multiplying this number by this number, this cancels out, leaving us with 731 divided by 760, and that is the partial pressure of hydrogen in atmosphere, 0 0.9618. We should write this to three significant figures because this has three significant figures, but I'll keep this eight for good measure. That way I don't run into rounding errors. So that is an atmosphere. Now I can finally use my formula. PV is equal to NR. T. I'll substitute this value into there, 0 0.9618. My volume, according to the question, is 1.55 liters. I'm looking for N, so I'll divide both sides by RT. And R is the gas constant, which I was referring to earlier. It's 0 0.082057. And that's being multiplied to a temperature of 298. By calculating Everything that you see here, you'll end up with the number of moles. Let's use our calculator. We'll start with the top. The number that I have, multiply to 1.55, divided by my gas constant, multiply to 298. Make sure that your numbers are accurate. And your final answer is 0 0.0609. 0 0.0609 moles of hydrogen. Let's make sure that we've answered this correctly. 
They want the amount in moles of hydrogen gas, and that's what we found. Also, keep in mind that when we did this calculation, we had, or we're supposed to have, three significant figures here. This was three significant figures. The amount of significant figures here don't count because it's an exact number, and this was three as well. That being said, our final answer should also have three. So if you go back to the calculation, the number after this nine is a six. Therefore, this nine should go up by one. If this goes up by one, we have 0 0.0610 moles. That's the correct answer to the correct number of significant figures. And so there you have it. That is how to calculate the total pressure and partial pressures.